Hello, friends, and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. So uh, this video is about dealing with null or null value in SQL. So null is the absence of a value. It doesn't mean zero. It doesn't mean a space, but it's just the absence of a value. Okay, it's nothing. Um, uh, so we will be looking at different ways of dealing or handling uh, null value or null in Oracle SQL, in SQL itself. So the first is in the select list. Okay, so we have a select statement, but the the clause which we're in, you have the columns being uh, uh, selected for display or expressions even are in what is known as a select list. So let's just say we have a select statement that I'm gonna put out here. So select country code, country name, continent code from geocodes where country code in pra, ESP, CG. Okay, so that's our select statement. And let's just take a look. Now you notice that uh, the first few records at least show that the continent code show null. They have null, null value or null, okay, nothing. So um, there is a way in SQL, if let's just say for the purpose of display, you want, or even for processing, text processing, or some kind of manipulation, you wanted to display some value, here, some default value, meaning in case uh, a column has no values, it has null, then you will assign some kind of default value to it. So that is possible in SQL with the use of the NVL function. Okay, I'll show it here. NVL. So this is the syntax. The command is NVL, it's not case sensitive. You have a pair of parentheses. And then the first parameter to that is the column name that you want to target, uh, that you wanna use the NVL on. Okay, and then the second parameter is the value that you wanna pass as a default whenever it whenever that column has a null okay so let's just use the nvl in the uh, sql you've seen earlier so now i put the nvl here okay so nvl the column name continent code and then the value i want to give it to i want to give to it in case it's null so meaning if you focus on the continent code column here you can see there are null values um with the nvl being introduced in the select statement what will happen is that um for records where continent code is null those records the value will be replaced or replaced by this one this is string called none okay so let me just execute this okay so now you can see that under continent code okay let me give an alias here let me just give an alias here it's better looking, okay. Okay, so we can see now that in continent code column, uh, there used to be null here, but now because of the NVL function being used on those null, nulls, then uh, the string that I've assigned here, none in this case, N-O-N-E, has been, is the one being displayed now under the column continent code, okay? So that's how you handle a null value or null in a select list. You can also use the NVL in a word statement. Okay. Uh, the second is this. Second is in the word clause. So the word clause, as you know, is the clause, the part of the select statement where you can put your word conditions. Conditions to join tables or just conditions to filter data. Okay, sometimes we want, we may want to use a null in a word clause, uh, but if we, use it wrongly, there may be no syntax error, but we might not get the right results that we were expecting. Okay, so let's see. Work loss. So let's select country code, country name, NVL, continent code, none, the one we have learned in the first demonstration from geocodes, table name, where continent code equals none, okay? So for somebody who is not so familiar with SQL yet, uh, nothing seems to be wrong. In fact, when you run this, there will be no error. There is no syntax error. Okay, but it returns nothing and you may think that everything is normal. It's, there's really no 
there are really no records for this from this table satisfying this work condition. But in truth, it is just because you wrongly use the equal sign or operator uh, beside the null uh, or to test the value of column continent code if it is null or not. So uh, like I uh, mentioned in the, the beginning of the video, null is actually the absence of a value. So that's why we do not use the equal sign or operator to, uh, to test something if it is null or not. What we use is it's either is or is not, okay? Because again, null is the absence of a value. So with the introduction of this is, instead of replacing the equal sign or equal operator, quality operator, then uh, things will be okay now. Let's execute this. Okay, so now we see that uh, re records are returned satisfying the work condition, which is um, where continent code is null, okay? So again, you don't say, where continent code equals null, where column name equals null, but instead you will use is, or you can also use is not. Okay, it works. Okay, so that's the second thing we have learned. First one was on the select list, second was on the where clause. The third is in the order by clause. Okay, so uh, if you're familiar with selects with SQL, you know that the select, I mean, if you're familiar with writing a select statement, you know that a select is mandatory, a from is mandatory, but the where is optional and the order by is optional, only when you need it, only when it makes sense. So um, uh, how do we encounter, in what cases do we encounter the, uh, the null in order by? Let's take a look. So it's the same select statement we've used in the first two examples. Select country code, country name, continent code from geocodes, order by continent code, except that I've added an order by clause. Let's see. So everything looks nice. Uh, now let, let's zoom in on the continent code column, this one. Okay, you can see that uh, there are values, all right. But if you scroll to the bottom, you will see that some records, in fact, have null for continent code. So what happens is sometimes, depending on the business requirement or the user uh, preference, we want to maybe display the null values first, in this case, in continent code column. So how do we do that? It is uh, using a simple trick of, okay, when you're ordered by, okay, you wanna, you want in this column continent code, you want the nulls to, um, uh, be displayed first or ahead of the other values. Okay, so you will do this. Order by, column name, and then nulls first. Okay, let's execute this. Okay, so we see the nulls, which earlier were being displayed at the very bottom of the data set, of the result set. Okay, so there's another variation of this one. Um, apart from the default behavior of your database, when you do this order by and there are null, null columns, I mean, null values. Then the other variation of this is the nulls last. Okay, nulls first, nulls last. So easy to remember, okay? So order by continent code nulls last instead of nulls first, nulls last. So again, if you scroll to the bottom, you see that those um, records where in the continent code have null are in fact, indeed, at the bottom, okay? So there you have it. You've learned three uh, situations or scenarios where in your, um, you're face-to-face -face with the concept of null, with something null, and you could be struggling if you're a beginner or uh, not so, uh, you're still lacking in experience in SQL. So the first was in the, using it in a select list, second was in the work clause, and third was in the order by clause, okay? Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell and spread the word. I hope to see you in the next video.